This is called opening, and that's going to get your elbow back. One of the key things to getting power on hitting is making sure your elbow is straight back in the room. The next thing is you got to make sure your left shoulder is higher than your right shoulder. So the angle is like this. Watch. So right now you're like this. See my shoulders? Yeah. It needs to be like this. So I should draw my right shoulder back? Yep. Pull the elbow back. It's like a bow and arrow. And you're going to rotate that way. Keep your body close to the wall. Snap and then swing through. Snap, swing through. Okay, you got to snap right here. Okay, go ahead and go back again. Okay, get this left arm up and hand as high as you can. Okay? That, you don't have to leave the floor. Okay. This right here is your visual signal to your eyes, your brain, and telling your right hand, hey, right hand, I want you to contact the ball right here. Okay? One of the most common issues I see with hitters, okay, is that this left arm doesn't get up high enough. The hitters only bring them up to here because it's a lazy left hand. And this is very big visual cue right here. Okay, I'm going to hit it here. And then they hit it into the net. Here, yep, that's where you got to snap. You got to replace your left hand with your right hand. And the snap has to happen here. Snap, swing. Okay, so do this with your fingers and get that ball up as high as you can. Okay, and then you're going to imagine that the wall is right here. My elbow is back here, right? Because I got a wall right here. I'm going to take a step with my left and try to connect with the top, top of this ball. Your arm right now is back. This is how you're finishing, okay? I want you to just snap and just let your arm go. Top of the ball, top of the ball. It's okay, it's, it's getting there. So right now, you're here, coming in, and you're snapping here. You need to snap right at the ball, and then through. Try to leave that ball up as high as, as long as you can, okay? You gotta hit on top of the ball. And what I want you to do is try to hit the top of the ball. You're gonna send it down. Yeah, that's it. Like, you're gonna have to. That's it. So when you hit as a middle, one of the rules I teach is you always want to hit not from the middle, but one step left. One step left of the middle, and I want you to scoot up. See the screen? See the green tape? So line up so you're about at the green tape. You're going to tee it up like this again, and then hit under the net. Yeah. The thing that you're doing now we call finger down snap. The fingers are just straight down. The next thing I'm going to teach you is what we call thumb up. Okay, as a middle hitter, you need to know that there's a blocker here, and just assume that there's always something in the middle. And as you snap, thumb up. Okay? Whenever I do the thumb up, I have a habit of like going like this with the ball instead. Yeah, you gotta get on top of the ball still. Snap at the top. That's the snap at the top, that's good. Can you show me your approach? Okay, so there's problem number one. You're taking off too close, and you're here. You can't swing. You gotta take off behind this line. You see this green line? Yeah. So first is, you gotta start further back. Okay, so here's the 10 foot line. Okay, so you gotta get behind, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a step and then you're going to get up to here, but make sure your both feet are behind the screen tape. And then you're going to take off, and then I want you to land up here. Yeah. Look at all the room you have to swing. The left foot 
is just a small step forward, okay? You just lean into it. We call it a timing step. Just trying to get the timing right, okay? So you go one, and then two, three. Up. Left, right, left. Yep, that's it. So you want your left here, then you can be open here and see your center. This way, you can most likely see most balls that are getting passed or dug or whatever going into the setter. You need to see the ball going in so you can get ramped up for it. Left, and then right left. Yeah. You gotta remember, in approaches, you get to a point, you take off, but you're also going forward. So it's like a plane taking off. Does a plane go down the runway really fast and then take off like this? It keeps going, right? You want to fly. You want to take off here, up in the air, fly. And the momentum is going to add to the power of your hit. Fly. You've been cleared for takeoff. Fly. Okay, now I want you to go up. Okay. Get it up. Swing. There we go. So the timing is this. There's left, step, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, go. You go when it hits the peak. Step, wait, go. If you're not used to waiting, you're gonna feel like you're really late. That's what we want. Okay, now I'm gonna say two words. I'm gonna say ready, and then I'm gonna say go. Okay. Don't go until I say go. Okay. Ready, go. <laughs> ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. Feel like the ball's like way far away. I know, it feels like it's, it's down here by the time I'm going. Yeah, that's because your footwork is still too slow. You gotta go. You gotta go. When I say go, you gotta go. Quick feet. Ready, go. Ready, go. Now the next thing that I noticed that you're you need to fix is it's the left arm. The left arm is going to be coming up to like here. This is a big visual signal to your eyes, your brain, and your right hand. Hey, hit it right here. And that's why you didn't do that. So the key to it is this. Really work on swinging that left arm up. Ready? Go! Ready? Go! Ready? Go! Ready, go. Come on, left arm. Hit that left arm. Ready, go. Yeah, that is awesome. You feel that? Yeah. You're hitting it straight down. Ready, go. The last one, you lean in straight. It's pretty much impossible to get the elbow back to get any power, and that's why you're just hitting like this. Now there's another problem with you going in straight. If I'm a middle blocker over here and you're coming in straight, what am I going to do? Right here, I'm going to just wait for you. That's why you want to hold the middle here for as long as possible. The way that you're going to do that is by coming in here. Okay, she doesn't know where I'm going to hit yet. Okay, everybody, I'm going across, I'm going across, I'm going across. Maybe even the middle moves over. And then I get up. There we go. Now I can hit hard angle. I can hit cross if the, if the block is split. If I'm going in showing cross and that middle bites and scoots to the left, then I can drill it here in six. If I'm coming in cross and they've got a double block right here, I'm going to rotate it here, come on, and hit area one. But you have to keep this middle guessing for as long as possible. Ready? Go! I'm going to toss some over here, I'm going to toss some over here. If I toss to your left, you go with the flow. If the set is way over here, you're going to have to launch yourself, okay? But you don't want to cut back because that middle is going to be waiting for you right here. And it's hard to see where the hands are. So just go with the flow and hit cross or even just power tip it right there. Ready? Go! Have you ever gotten tight sets? Yes. A lot of hitters just go, oh, it's tight, and they just kind of whip it or whatever. One tight, it over. Okay, do you want to chip it or do you want to pound on it? Pound it? Yeah. 
you can count on tight checks. Okay? The key is the left hand. If the ball's really tight, you're late to it, and you don't get this hand up, this is the natural motion that you're gonna make. You get that left arm up, this is like, no, get it up here, you'll get it. I'm gonna give you some tight sets. I want you to swing. Ready? Go. See that? Yeah. <laughs> I want you to swing no matter what. Okay. The left arm's got to go up. Okay. Ready? Go. Yeah. Ready? Go. Yeah. See, there's no reason why you should roll shot it or chip it. Are you kidding me? You crush. Ready? Go. Yeah. So now I gotta teach you. You're here worrying about walking. You have to get from here all the way to over there. So can you start here? And if you're wanting to, the term I use is get available. If you're not available for the birthday party, you cannot go. You gotta be available to hit. Okay? So how do you get from there to here? Can you show me? Two problems. Most of the time you're going up against a right-handed hitter. They usually hit cross. So they're usually gonna hit over your right shoulder. You have to open the direction that it's hit. If they hit over your right shoulder, you gotta open to the right. If they hit to the left shoulder, then you open up. Because you gotta see what's happening to the ball. So usually if we're just wrapping in practice, I have you open to the right. Because this, you see most of the court this way. Plus you can keep track of the ball and you can see what's happening with your setter. Like if she's a back row setter, Okay, is she coming up? Is she there? Okay, you can't see any of that stuff if you turn left. And the next thing is, you're taking way too many steps to get over there. You're gonna open, okay? It's like a hip opener. You can't just turn and open. See where my toe's pointing? It's pointing to the middle. This is gonna lead me back right over there. So you gotta do almost do like a hip opener and point your right foot, point it to where I need to go. Then the rest of your body will just follow and you'll naturally go left. As you step, you gotta push with your left foot. Make your left foot do its job. Here, you can either just go like this and only get this far, or you can go and look how much farther I get. So this footwork I teach is this. Step, cross, hop. Step, cross, and hop. Okay, do that faster now. Look how far you got. Three steps. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bounce the ball. Okay. okay. So you want me to go? Yeah, but I want you to do a block jump. Okay. Now, block jump. Now release. And now pass. And you're going to go. After I bounce, I'm going to hold the ball here. You need to watch this ball as you go. Okay. Right now, this is you. If I'm a video of you and I'm doing a replay, where are my eyes? Where I'm gonna walk? Yeah, you're watching the floor. Yeah, you gotta be here. Look, no, watch my eyes. Got it? Look, right here, here's the ball. Yeah, you're ready. Ready, wait, then go. Here's the ball, here's the ball. Ball, right here. Right here, here, here. Here, here. This is called you're open, the door's open. I want you to shut it and slam it shut all the way to the right back. Shut the door. Okay, where's the blocker? There's a middle here. If there's a double block on you as a right-handed hitter, which blocker comes in? That one. Not that one. So this is open. Right here, the ball's here. I think you have the, the athletic ability to 
be here and show everybody I'm going in for a two, okay? Have your setter set three, and you just take off this way. Oh. Try it. So, so release that to the same spot. And this is a 32. If, if it goes the way it's supposed to, there's probably no blocker there. You can probably get anywhere you want. Until the other team catches on. It's about a 31 and a half. It's a little bit faster. Hit. 